will look at how to find and reuse an existing component finite element model in a new assembly FEM. You may remember an earlier demo where we created a finite element model of an electronic box of a FADEC. Here we have a bracket that is being reused not only to support the FADEC but also a P495 manifold. Now if we weren't the analyst that did the original analysis on the FADEC, we may not know if a simulation model exists for this bracket. Now we could do a where used report, but that would only show us what assemblies the CAD component is used in. Now to find if there are any existing finite element models, we need to go to Team Center and we'll find that bracket and then we'll send it to the CAE manager. And here the CAE manager will list all of the associated finite element models for that bracket. So here we found one. Let's go ahead and open it. And here we can see it's a shell finite element model. That'll be perfect for our P495 manifold. So let's go ahead and open up our assembly finite element model of our P495 manifold. And we'll go ahead and add that bracket finite element model to our assembly FEM. All right, now that we have the bracket in our assembly FEM, all we need to do is connect it and constrain it. We're going to use universal connections to connect the bracket to the tube. There's a loop clamp there that supports the tube and bolts to the bracket. We'll use the bushing connection. And for our target one, which is going to be on the bracket, we'll use the spider option, which will allow us to select a center point for the spider and then also the legs. Then for our target 2, that will be our connection point on our tube. And here we have a mesh point that we can select. Next we'll specify our axis and our physical properties. And we're ready to realize the bushing. But uh, let's do that in just a moment. Let's continue creating more bushings. And here you can see the dialog is sticky to some extent as far as the axis and physicals are concerned. We'll specify the remaining two universal connections in the same fashion with a spider for target one and a single point for target two. All right, now that we have all of the universal connections defined, we'll go ahead and realize them by specifying the options that we'd like for the type of elements we'd like to create. So here we'll select the C-Bush and RBE2. So the C-Bush connects target one to target two at the center point, and then we have the spider of RBE2s out to the edge of the bolt hole. All right, so lastly, before we leave the FEM, let's go ahead and resolve any node and element conflicts as far as the labels. And then we'll go to our SIM and we'll add our constraints. Here we'd like to fix the holes of the bracket where they mount to the low pressure turbine flange. Now I already have a modal analysis, Solution 103, set up, and we'll go ahead and solve it. Since this is just a shell and beam model, it only takes a few seconds to solve. and then we can post-process the results. Here we can see our first mode is at 365 Hertz. So 
So this is how we can find and reuse an existing component finite element model in a new assembly FEM. Thank you.